Hello and welcome to Expo Hub channel. Myself Rakesh. I work in one of the top MNC and currently I'm assigned with multiple UiPath projects. Uh, so one of the uh, question that I have been getting is input dialog box. How do you design that for multiple choice? And how do you design that for a drop down menu, right? Uh, so how will you design the uh, simple input dialog box? Okay, so in this demo, I will show you that. So first thing is I will drag the input dialog and I will drag a message box. These are the two activities I need. Okay, so the first one is about, let me show you one by one how it works and then I can. So let's say first input dialog box. Okay, so here I say hi, hi there. So this whatever you are writing on the top one okay so this is how it will appear so this is coming on the top of the window okay so let's say you want to write something in the body of this input dialog box and then we will see how to design the drop down menu and all that okay let's say I want to say enter your choice enter your choice or anything you want to write okay so when you write this what is happening okay this is how it is coming right and here it is giving an option to type something and whatever you type it will appear in the message box so let's do that and then we will design the drop down menu okay so here whatever I'm typing there's something called output so in the output you do control K and create a variable so I'll name it as input okay so this input let's say by default will be generic I will select a string because I will enter string type variable so in the message box all I have to do is type that variable name okay now let's see or I will say enter your name right that's a appropriate one enter your name so if I do this and run it, so let's say I'm entering Rakesh. Continue to this video, guys. I'm going to show you the drop down up just after this. So you can see the message box has come. Okay. Now let's say I will make some, um, you know, I will ask the customer to choose one option. Okay. Um, so what I will do, let's say. Uh, think it's a shopping mall okay and customer wants to go for let's say um, he want to do groceries okay he wants to do um, he want to go for men's um, clothes section right so you need to so you will finally tell him which floor to go something like that okay so how do you show all this choice and then let's say woman Women section, right? And then you have got kids section and all that. So now, how do you uh, put that? So I'll I'll show you. Let's say all these are the three options. I'll go to input dialog box, and here whatever you are typing, right? There is something called option. Okay. So here instead of enter your name, I will say enter your choice. Okay, that will come in the body of the message, and I want to give some option. So here in the option, I'll just copy paste. Okay. Now copy paste will not work. So what I will do, remember the format. Okay. First I'll do a curly braces. I'll put, and then within that, this one I'll put in double quote. Okay. This one I'll put in double quote. And after the double quote, put a comma. All right. Same thing I'll do for the second one. I'll put a double quote and then I'll put a comma. And for the third one, I'll do the same thing this i will not i'll avoid the comma because this is the last one okay remember double quote comma double quote comma and this is the format so i'll show you this format i'll put it in the notepad so this is the format so this format if you see double quote comma double quote right and the last one I did not put a comma because that's the last one otherwise this is quite simple so the moment i do this i'll see how this is appearing okay Now you can see this has given you 
the choices right so let's say i'm selecting grocery or i'm selling selecting men's clo clothes or women's section if i select enter your choice so, so depending on that we can do programming but again this is a, a generic uh, video just to show you how to design the input dialog box so you can see i have selected three and the three section has come here correct okay wonderful now let's say i want to do a drop down okay now remember this is for the multiple choice right now what is happening i'll show you one small difference now if i add one more line okay we'll put a comma and then double quotes four and let's say kids section i'm going to add let's say now by adding another choice here what is happening to the format will be see okay see now it has converted itself to a drop down menu so more than three as is taking it this as a drop down menu and this will also work let's say i'm selecting kids section in the message box the kids section has appeared okay so this is how you design uh, your drop down menu and the multiple choice so multiple choice is limited to three and anything beyond that would become a drop down okay so depending on your project requirement you can design the way you want all right so thank you very much guys for watching this video um, and this is the code for you uh, in case you have not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe and i am going to bring you the more specific uh, things that you supposed to know about ui path and i'm pretty sure after watching all this video you will be very confident and you'll be able to design bots all right if this is helping you please do like and subscribe the channel guys thank you have a wonderful day